Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome to Apple Electricity. Often we hear about electrical faults that appear in the electrical installation. But this NAC, faults that endanger our houses but also our lives. I'm sure you had a short circuit problem in your car's installation or your house or flat. Short circuit is a problem, it's a fault, it's something we don't want, but it appears because of improper maintenance of the electrical installation or the wrong way of working in the electrical installation. When the short circuit appears, the electrical resistance in the circuit becomes very low and the voltage to the, the ends of the, the electrical device is close to zero and the electrical current in this circuit becomes maximum. This is the short circuit current. To have an electrical circuit, we need at least two things. We need a voltage supply, an electrical device and wires that connect the voltage supply to the, the electrical device. Okay, let's see here. I consider a DC circuit, a car circuit, and I have here a charge battery with 14 volts. For a car battery, the internal electrical resistance is between 0.01 and 0.02 amps. I'm fixing two wires, copper wires, with length of 1 meter and section of 1.5 square millimeters. Okay, these two wires and the electrical device is a light bulb with power of 45 watts. 45 watts. Our circuit is OK and uh, for uh, the rigid current that the rigid current that passes through it that passes through the light bulb, rigid current for the light bulb, for the filament of the light bulb equals Power divided by volts equals 45 watts divided by 14 volts equals 3.2 amps. Okay. Electrical resistance of the filament light bulb using ohm's law equals 14 volts divided by 3.2 amps equals 4.3 amps. Okay, but what happened when we have short circuit? To have a short circuit, I need to touch the wires, the ends of the battery, what is supply, with a copper wire the length of 1 meter and section 1.5 square meter. In this circuit our electrical current will no longer pass through the light bulb will pass through the wire because the electrical resistance of the wire is smallest than the electrical resistance of the light bulb. Why? Okay, I see here the electrical resistance of the filament of the light bulb is 4.3 ohms. Okay, what happened with our, our electrical resistance of the wire? I have copper, I have one land, I have section 1.5 square many meters and the electrical resistivity for copper is its value for calculation 
the electrical resistance for this wire. I use this relation. Electrical resistivity for copper multiplied by length divided by section. I converted section from square millimeters to square meter. And if you do the calculation, you will get for this electrical resistance 0 0.011 ohms. Okay, I have three couple wires. Okay, we have 0 0.033 ohms because we have three wires, and for each we have. 0 0.011 amps and now we need the whole electrical resistance in this circuit for whole electrical resistance in this circuit we need the internal electrical resistance of the battery okay electrical resistance of the battery and uh, electrical resistance of the wires. Electrical resistance of the wires is 0 0.033 amps plus 0 0.02 amps electrical internal electrical resistance for battery equals 0 0.053 ohms okay but what happened with our short circuit current using on slow short circuit current equals 14 volts okay the voltage of the battery divided by the whole electrical resistance in this circuit 0 0.053 ohms equals 264.1 amps. It's a very high current here. At this current, our wires are matching because of thermal effect. Okay. Uh, if I were to compare how much current is, uh, I can say for a 60 watts light pump supplied by 230 volts. Uh, um, 0 0.26 amps through the light bulb. If I compare this value with 0 0.26 amps, this circuit current is equivalent with 1000 light bulbs. Okay, but if I want to project my car circuit, okay, the well-known fuses are used. I fix here a fuse of 6 amps to protect my car circuit. Fuses for car circuit are um, 5 amps, 7.5 amps, 10 amps, 15 amps, 25, 20 amps, 25 amps, 30 amps, 40 amps, depending on the car circuit. Okay, uh, I see here I have 3.2 uh, amps for uh, this light bulb and uh, I fix here 5 amps. I don't fix 7.5 amps because I want the I want the fuse to blow quickly to protect my car circuit. Uh, the same is true in the household system because there we use fuses or MCBs. MCB is a miniature circuit breaker and uh, we can use RCBO, residual circuit breaker with overcurrent protection. The same we have uh, the ratchet current for MCB, 6 amps, uh, 16 amps, 10 amps, 16 amps, uh, 25 amps, 32 amps, depending on the uh, depending on the circuit in our 
house. Okay, uh, if you enjoy this video, uh, please uh, like, uh, share with your friends or subscribe. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.